welcome back to another episode in my unity open world series so in this episode we are going to import a new character uh, into this project so this is a character i downloaded from mixamo and we are going to use this character as the player character uh, and so the first step is selecting the character from mixamo and importing it into unity engine so that's what i am going to do in this episode okay so in this unity project so far we have added a third person character using the standard asset third person character template to our project and yeah that's all we have up to now so all right now uh, instead of this character i need a new character a custom character for my game so I went to the mixamo.com and there I am going to select this character for the mm, character as in my game. So let's download this. Mm, what's the original boss? Same as D boss. Okay, let me download this. right it's downloaded the name is Treya M O R A. so okay where do I put this I'll create a new folder characters and Treya let's create another folder called Treya So let's put this character inside the drawer folder. All right. This is how it looks. Uh, looks like it haven't imported the textures. Let's put this model in here. Okay, the scale is too big. How can I fix that? Can I download this for Unity especially? No, I, I remember there was an option called for each, uh, each game engine such as Unity and Unreal. Now let's go for an animation. Idle. Uh, here we have the option FBX for Unity. Okay, maybe I had that before. No, that's okay. Let's download it again. FBX for Unity with a skin. Right now, I'll delete this one. Now we have the animation. Mm, what about the model? Still, the scale is too big. Uh, let's uh, can we scale it down here? All right. Let's try 0 0.0.1. No, and apply. Yeah, that scale is good. Okay, that's better. So now let's see. A 
about textures now where's the textures okay so when I seems like this doesn't have textures okay when I go to the model settings here we have an option called extract textures oh. no okay I just did a quick Google search and it says select this folder all right so all we have to do is go to extract textures and select this drawer folder in the project and press select folder that's all so as you can see now it has extracted the textures and I can see the textures on the character simple as that cool okay so I'll stop this episode at this point in the next episode let's see how to make this character move and how to add a camera to this character and so yeah let's improve this the system step by step until we have a playable character and then let's proceed to other topics and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye